Welcome to Just Charisma, episode 42. I'm your host, Brayden Charisma, and joining me today is Dion Toll. How you doing, man? I'm good, man. How are you? Pretty good. So Dion is a action sports and like a hiking kind of photographer. He does it like you gotta check out his channel. Great photos. Like I love like a lot of the snow ones, they're fantastic. It's been, it's been a really fun winter. Yeah. A ton of snow this winter. So well, yeah, it was yeah. perfect for getting out and totally. skiing. And it was really cold for a long time. Yeah. So uh, a lot of the ice on the island froze, and so there's a lot of opportunities to go ice climbing, okay. backcountry skiing, ski touring, snowshoeing, snowboarding, backcountry snowboarding. All and how many of those sports do you do? Um, <laughs> all of them except for ice climbing. I haven't done ice climbing yet because it's super sketchy and you need like ice axes yep. and these things called crampons. Yeah, like the boots with the spikes, right? Yeah, yeah. that's why you stab into the ice and you work your way up. Plus like ice, you need a lot of gear for it. It's really expensive to get into. Yeah. Like pretty much any sort of like climbing or mountaineering for activity. Sure. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I got to photograph my buddies do it a few weeks ago. Oh, that's cool. And it was unreal. Yeah. It was so cold. We were out there for at least eight hours and they were doing, it's called like a, um, they're at Boston Falls, and okay. so it's this huge waterfall that was completely frozen. It's three pitches. Oh wow! Yeah, so they did it in three sections basically, um, and I was down at the bottom for pretty much the whole day. Makes sense. I was completely like ill prepared. <laughs> I didn't bring any food. I had one banana all day, and we hiked in like it was at least a solid like two hour hike in like through oh, wow. deep snow, snowshoeing, you know, in the mountains. Yeah. Um, I didn't have enough clothing to like stay really warm, so for a lot of it, I ended up like walking up and down this like one little ridge just I'd, like, so, like go up the mountain and then like kind of slide back down and then go back up just to, like stay warm yeah yeah so oh, it, it was actually super brutal <laughs> um but it was really fun and you know i got some pretty cool photos from it and i got to experience what it's like to ice climb yeah um it's a pretty sketchy sport uh, it looks like i mean like if, if you're not like hooked in it's one like false move and you just kind of Fall. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah any, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <that's it. laughs> any sort of like mountaineering, climbing, you know, there's always a huge level of risk, and For that's sure. why there's such a big um, focus on safety and yeah. using proper equipment and you know double checking everything and experience. Totally, right? It's it can be dangerous out there. So. Yeah, yeah. So like with photography, like how did you know you wanted to uh, pursue it? Like why? Like why did you choose photography? Um, I don't know. I kind of like got into it by chance. I've always sort of taken photos as a kid. Right. Like I remember going on trips. My mom would always have uh, like a disposable camera. Okay. She'd give me one and I would just like snap random photos. Like didn't think anything of it. Totally. And then fast forward to 2014. That's when I graduated high school and moved to um, the island. Okay. Um, I actually lived on Gabriola Island. Oh, okay. Outside of Nanaimo. Yep. My grandma lived there, so I had a free place to stay while nice. I started new out here. Um, basically just wanted a fresh start, move somewhere different, uproot my whole life and do something. Yeah. Why not? Else. Right? Yeah, exactly. And so first thing I did when I came out here was I bought a camera because now there was like all this ocean and these mountains True. and waterfalls and beautiful like scenery. Yeah. Whereas back in Edmonton where I'm from, it's just like, wheat fields and like sometimes <laughs> you get some nice trees and stuff like that but that's it right yeah so i was like so stimulated by all this i was like whoa i need to capture this so i just went out bought a camera had nothing else to do i wasn't working i wasn't in school at the time so i just kind of like mobbed around and took photos of like everything that it just was interesting yeah yeah and then uh then i started getting on instagram more and i started like getting into the community here yeah and i started like going on adventures with people meeting up with people taking photos sharing my photos people started like catching on a little bit and then uh, i discovered gary v and then that's when the whole world of like you can do this for a living yeah it's your passion do it that's when that whole realm came into it. and that's when i really started like going all in with like i want to do this for a career yeah like like fuck it this is what I want to do. Yeah. This is what I'm going to put all my attention to. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So that was basically how I got into it. And then, yeah, it's just been like growth ever since of like always, you know, learning new things, totally. um, learning how to get new clients, how to make money, how to write contracts, yeah. how to do accounting, you know, how to file your taxes, all this kind of stuff that comes along with like running a small business. Totally. So it's like a huge learning experience. Plus like having to learn how to be on the mountains, like be safe, learning how to climb. At yeah. The Sport, um, you know everything that comes along with that it's just like non-stop learning yeah so I was gonna say you're not just learning your job you have to learn how to be safe out yeah, in the outdoors like because exactly. it's just like you never know what can happen out there totally, right totally man yeah and it's that's the thing it's so unpredictable and it, it's nature right <laughs> totally so you're always like, 
you, kind of being humbled that way. You, you can only be so prepared. Like you yeah. can never like like you might like just be prepared, and then all of a sudden a tree falls, and you're just like, wait, what? Totally, yeah, right? yeah. Or like the weather just changes in an instant. Yeah, like you only prepared for like for hot weather, then all of a sudden it's like raining. And you're like, yeah, I'm so. Oh, where is my rain jacket? Yeah, exactly. Damn, I should have brought it. <laughs> that happens so many times. Yeah. Okay. And then like, so with the sports, like you photo you photography like a lot of like action sports and all that stuff. So why, why did you decide to go into that on top of the outdoors you, or just because it's more outdoor stuff? Um, I really love having fun. Yeah. Like I love being stoked and I love like getting the adrenaline going. <laughs> totally. You know, and uh, I love inspiring people um, to have fun and you know basically my main mission my main goal is to like get people outside and realizing that life is better if you actually spend a lot of it outside for and sure. if you're active outside if you're in nature if you're disconnecting a little bit from, from yeah from, from like the phones from the video games exactly like, get outside right. go for a walk through the forest like even if it's up to sugar loaf right behind your house yeah you know just go for a walk and like be outside be present watch a sunset and like you'll guarantee you're gonna feel better you'll, that. yeah you're gonna be like wow that was a dope sunset yeah. and then you're like you're, you know, you're taking all this fresh air, and like totally, you get like yeah. the view of Departure Bay. Yeah, and, like, yeah, it's beautiful out there. I it's love so it. awesome. Yeah, like sunrises are the best. Yeah, like and like the thing is, it's nice because you don't have to, like not that you know hiking's not fun or anything, but like you, it's not like a crazy like ticket to the top. No, totally. So it's, it's just steps. like yeah, like if you just yeah. want to like rip there for like a quick like while you eat your lunch or something, and then exactly. you can just like sit up there and chill. Exactly. It's like Little Mountain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Out in uh, Parksville, yeah, I love it there. It's you so drive nice. Race to the top, and it's I, uh, a good view. Me and a buddy of mine, we and my girlfriend, we actually went and golfed up there. Oh yeah, yeah. Just like just drove. Yeah, just, yeah, just yeah. hit some balls off. I was like, funny yeah. story. I did the same thing at Neck Point uh, two summers ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we went out. Uh, me and two buddies. We went out to Neck Point. We brought a couple beers, and uh, we had golf balls. Yeah, my buddy had them in his van, and he was like, I gotta get rid of these. Like, what am I supposed to do with these? I was like, dude, let's go like hit them into the ocean or something. Yeah. We which, I mean, it's probably not the best, best thing, thing from, yeah. like, a nature-y person who, like, I'm always trying to protect the outdoors. Absolutely. It was kind of, like, dumb that way, whatever, I'll probably get criticism. Um, but, yeah, so we went, and it was crazy because none of us brought our cameras, yet as we were, like, hitting these golf balls out into the ocean, um, the northern lights came out oh, above us. that's cool. Yeah, like, out of nowhere, and we are like, what? And the northern lights were there, and you can also see, like, the Milky Way galaxy, like, oh, like the arm of the Milky Way yeah. with your bare eyes. Um, like, we're still in the city but it was still pretty dark out yeah so like we seen the milky way and then there was like the northern lights above us and we were like what of course yeah. the one time you don't have your yeah, camera right of course we didn't bring our cameras yeah so we just took that as like we're here to just appreciate this absolutely like, right yeah. like yeah I, I like to find like as, as much as a, capturing every moment would be cool mm -hmm. sometimes just enjoying the moment itself totally, it's yeah. just like not even like for the world to see but just for like you'd be like this is just like a kind yeah. of like a personal like bet memory between the three of you that you yeah, guys can totally. be like remember this and they'll be like oh yeah so good yeah yeah exactly like, yeah so that's cool yeah that's actually so cool yeah no, it was awesome and we still talk about it to this day we're like oh I remember that time like, damn we should have brought our cameras but yeah no it's it's totally true like you you do have to as a photographer at least, at least I have to like disconnect sometimes and just be like I'm absolutely just enjoy this and my girlfriend's actually really good for kind of keeping me on that because yeah. like she loves going outside and oh perfect and stuff and, yeah um Sometimes I will be a little bit too much with like the Instagram stories or the photos and stuff. She's like, hey, hey you should uh, just chill a little bit and watch this, <laughs> you know, like just enjoy it. Yeah. Like, yeah, you're right. Yeah, fair <laughs> enough. You got so it's there. good to have like someone who keeps you in check, right? Oh, absolutely. Like, I mean, that, that way that you're not just like getting a loss, you're kind of just like, oh, yeah, right. Yeah, I'm here right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's cool. Yeah. Um, so then, like, how did you, like, uh, like, sorry, I'm stumbling here. It's all good. Building your clientele, did you find it a lot harder or diff like difficult or anything, or did you find like a lot of people are super interested in like getting f photos? Um, it started like kind of naturally. Um, I just had people here and there, friends of friends, who like came to me. A lot of people, it turns out, don't know any photographers. Okay, fair. Which enough. is weird because as a photographer, I you just like, know. All, yeah, I know all of them. You know, and I'm like, how do people not know photographers? There's like a million people that live like totally. right next door to you who like <laughs> photograph everything. Um, but yeah, it turns out a lot of people don't know photographers. So anytime like I had a friend who had a friend who was getting married or okay, you know, who has like a small business needs a video done, anything like that, like usually people would just come to me. And I was working at the liquor store full time managing that. Yeah. So I did it a lot um, as a side gig. And so yeah, people would just like hit me up like, hey, you know we talk about photos or videos, they'd be like, oh, like, by the way, I need this done, or I have a friend who's, like, got this business, or 
you know, my buddy's a real estate agent. He doesn't have any photos for his houses. You know, you should hit okay, him up. Yeah. So that's how a lot of my first clients started. Um, and then, you know, a few of them have been from like, just like going out and like putting myself out there. For sure. Um, but for the most part, I would say most of them have come to me, um, which I think is good because, you know, it, it allows my work to kind of speak for itself. Absolutely, right. And I think it's better if people are coming to you as opposed to you always going to try and find clients. Totally. Um, especially with client work, if you're finding the client, they, they kind of have like leverage over you basically because you know, you're the one that's like, I don't want to say desperate, but you're the one that's like searching to get yeah. work. You know, you want to get paid, you want to get work. So Absolutely. you have to go find these clients. And so when you approach a client, I find it just changes the relationship a little bit. And some clients are really good. Like some people are really straight up and honest, but yeah, a lot of people will try to take advantage of you a little bit. I get what you're saying. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I thought it was good that, you know, I had a lot of people come to me first and then that, you know, allowed us to kind of work out you know, what works for me, what works for you, how can we make this fair, and yeah. Totally. Yeah, so, okay. um, yeah, I'm trying to slowly build my client base again. Um, moving down to Victoria, I basically start, am starting from zero. Yeah. Because I don't have any clients down there, I haven't worked much down there, so it is like starting at a, no, a whole new basis. But I thought that was good because if I can start from zero here, I can start from zero totally. at any other point. And that kind of puts you in like a, in like a, out of your comfort zone, right? Big like, time, so yeah. then you're just like, well, like, yeah, now you like, you kind of have to do it. Like you're yeah. like, if this is what I want to do, this is what I got to do. I did it here. Totally. So I, could, I should be able to reciprocate it here. Yeah, exactly. And that's the way I look at it. And you know, if, if you get to know me, like, I feel like I, I really try to push myself out of my comfort zone as much as possible. Um, and sometimes I try to do it for other people, you know, like sometimes it's too much. Sometimes I'm like, oh, come on, man, just go for it. Like stop being a pussy or whatever. <laughs> yeah. um, but, you know, like I don't know if that's always good or not. But, yeah, I'm always trying to like just push myself because I know how good it can be to do something that you're not comfortable with. And totally. You, you just feel so, I don't know, like you, you feel like you've grown as a person. And I think you have grown like when you're doing things that Definitely. are really comfortable. Like whether you succeed or whether you fail, it's like I tried it. I feel exactly. like I'm a bet. Like I feel I am like I feel better about myself yeah. because I attempted it. Right? Yeah, and it makes you mentally stronger in a way. Because yeah. if you can like cold shower, cold shower is like the easiest one to do to make yourself uncomfortable because it never feels good. You never want to get in a damn shower. Have you cold showered before? Yeah, yeah. yeah I can admit okay, I, yeah. Uh, so you know, you never want to do it. It sucks every time. But once you get out and you like start drying off, like, like your body's like shaking because it's like full of adrenaline, like first thing in the morning. Oh. And then you just like get stoked. Like, yeah, you know, <laughs> this is like the best way to start the day. Totally. So I try to take that and just like apply it to everything in life and just like use it as a form of like mental um, toughening, basically. Right. You know, if I can get through that on a regular basis every day, like I can get through anything else that life throws my way. True. That's why I try to look at it. Um, it just sets you up for for troubles and challenges ahead. So, yeah, well, that's really cool. Actually, yeah. like, I mean, yeah, like, what, like, you just basically just nothing's gonna stop you, right? Like, you're not gonna have like this mental, like your your biggest opponent is yourself. Yeah. So I mean, the only person, time, the yeah. only person stopping you is gonna be you. Yeah. I'd be like, you know, it's like it's almost like procrastination, right? Like, yeah. It's just. When, like you, once you can get past it, get through it, you're yeah. just you're on top. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And a thing for me is like, I've really come to learn this in the past couple of months. Is like I'm really good at setting a goal and then achieving it. Yeah. But then once I achieve it, I don't usually have like the next thing set up. Right. For me. So I like I get to this point and I'm like, okay, I made it. Uh, now what? Yeah. You know, and then like I'll plateau or I'll like. I'll start underperforming or something. So these are things that I've like recently started uh, kind of working on and, and trying to address. Okay. Um, so like always trying to set like bigger goals and like have, you know, I don't know, more things coming. Totally. Burning myself out, obviously. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah. Don't like, don't put too much on your plate or anything. Yeah, exactly. Because I've done that so many times. <laughs> so many times. Yeah. You know? <laughs> totally. And you're just like, you're always like, there's never a moment in the day where you don't feel overwhelmed. Yeah. And then you're just like. I gotta get something off my plate. Totally, yeah, and it just it ends up burning you out too if you start like trying to do too much. Mm -hmm. um, and that's just where like self awareness comes in and like really like getting to know yourself. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm I'm a pretty introverted person as it is. Like I really like spending time on my own and doing things by myself and you know having my me time. Yeah, absolutely. Um, that being said, like I'm also still super social. Like I kind of have to be being a photographer, a videographer. Like you're always with people. Like people are the reason that I have work. Yeah. Um, 
but yeah, I mean, really, really knowing yourself is, is like probably one of the most important things. And it's something that Gary Vaynerchuk talks a lot, talks about a lot is self-awareness. Definitely. That's like the number one thing he says that will like, you know, make you successful or whatever. Um, so it's something that I've like taken on a lot and just like really trying to get to know myself and my patterns and things like that so that I can change it. Totally. It's like, I'm not perfect. And like, sometimes I get in a really good groove where I'm like crushing work every day. I'm like really creative. I got all these new ideas coming, like just like flowing up through my brain. And then like fast forward like a month, I'm just like, Oh, I don't know what to do with myself. Yeah. You know? And then I start going to that, like mind games of like, Oh, why am I doing this? Should I keep doing this? Like, is right. it worth it? Totally. You know, but like it's, it's just like, yeah, like a, you're just psyching yourself out. Totally. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, and then that's usually the times where I like either take a break a little bit from photography, um, or I'll just like find something to do. Like I'll go run. Just like to clear your mind. type. Yeah, thing. basically. Yeah. yeah. I, I find something to just kind of basically put me back in that uncomfortable zone yeah. physically. I'm really good at being physically uncomfortable, <laughs> you know, like suffering for like eight hours, like in the mountains when I went ice climbing, like yeah. my buddy's ice climbing, like that was cold and it was brutal. But at the end of the day, I was still like super stoked because I was like, oh, that was sweet. Like, it was a know. good day, right? It was like, a good day. Yeah, yeah. totally. And uh, yeah, actually funny thing. I ran like 15 kilometers, uh, I think last week. And I hadn't ran in two months before. Like I'm not a runner by any means. Right. But I was just like, I just had so much going on. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to like put my mind to it. And like, I want to see like how far I can push myself. Okay. So I ended up running like 15 kilometers in like an hour and 41 minutes. Oh my gosh. Which is like not great, but it's really not bad. Like I would, just I would do. push it. <laughs> <Fair enough. laughs> um, and like, I'm not a runner at all. Like I'm not a huge cardio person, but like it, it was weird. I just like flicked this thing in my, like the switch in my mind. And I just like kept moving. Like it was weird. It was almost to the point where if I stopped running, like my body started getting sore and I started feeling yep. it and I was like, oh shit, just keep moving, you know? So, um, yeah, make myself comfortable all the time. It's like huge, huge priority of mine. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's <laughs> fun. So if you ever want to go running, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, man. Uh, so you mentioned that you were like, you know, you, were, you always have like a goal. So like, yep. what's your current goal? Um, so I got a few right now. Uh, the biggest ones primarily are, um, I have this project that I'm, I'm working on. So come August of this year, I'm going to be climbing uh, a mountain in Strathcona Provincial Park. Oh, cool. And it's called Mount Colonel Foster. And it's like the biggest like face in, uh, I think it's on Vancouver Island and it's about a 1200 meter rock face. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it's like over a kilometer tall and, uh, we're, we're doing this route. Basically we're going to be trad climbing. And what trad climbing is, is like, I'm sure you've seen, like when people climb, they have like little bolts that they clip into yeah. like their rope. So we're doing that. But instead of having like bolts placed in the rock already, we actually have to take these things called cams and nuts. And you basically, it's like a, like a, like a nut is like a little metal chunk. And you basically have to like put it into like a rock crack and then pull it down and then you have oh, to, to like, wedge it into to like lock it in. Exactly. So you place that in there and then you clip your rope into that. And then that's basically, that's your protection. So if you fall because you're climbing, um, if you fall, you know, you'll come down and that will catch your rope, but it can be sketchy because not every placement is going to be perfect. Yeah. You know, sometimes the rock is a little too big. Sometimes it's like awkwardly shaped. Sometimes it's like flaky and it can like bust out. Yeah. So it's like this whole new mind game of like how, uh, how, I don't know. It's just like, it's, it's completely out of my comfort zone. Definitely. And it's a huge project. It's all, the route we're doing has only ever been tw done twice. Oh wow. And the last ascent was in 2013. So it's, it's not super technical climbing or super challenging, right. but it is definitely like not easy. Okay. Um, and we're going to have these huge backpacks on us. It's just going to yeah, be like, like 50, I count, yeah. like, like 50 pounds. Of them, um, you know? I'm going to try and go like 20 pounds if I can, like, yeah. like super lightweight, but I mean, I'm going to have all my camera gear cause I'm filming. Yeah. Um, so that's going to be the project. That's going to be a huge deal. Uh, once we do it, it's not going to be easy, but like, that's what I'm really working towards right now. And I want to make like a little film out of it. Um, kind of documenting because there's so much history with Strathcona Park on the island. It's yeah. BC's first provincial park. Um, it's super beautiful and no one knows about it. Like no one thinks of Alpine and mountains when they think of Vancouver Island. Right? Definitely. So it's it's really cool. It's really untouched. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a pretty gnarly pro um, uh, project. So that's like my main one. That's like my main focus right now. Yep. And then like secondary is 
obviously like getting my photography videography off the ground um pursuing that but like specifically within the outdoors so i'm not trying to take a lot of like wedding clients anymore i'm not trying to right. do real estate you're trying to more automotive. be in your niche exactly i want to be in the outdoors and so anything that's like outdoor focused that i feel works with me that's like definitely my main thing um and then the company I work for uh, is called Robinson's Outdoor Store. They're based in Victoria. It's just like an outdoor camping store, hiking, travel, all that yep. kind of stuff. Um, I do a lot of their social media management and like marketing and stuff. So working with them and just um, learning how to like operate the marketing side of a business. Definitely. How to market a company and a brand online and um, yeah, just working with them on like epic projects and stuff. So, That's cool. Yeah, I got I got a few different little things going on, but they all kind of tie in together. They definitely like, like the marketing the ties into like the business, and the business ties into that huge project. Like there's, yeah, there's exactly. definitely the spider web there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I, I'm really trying to keep everything focused, and I think it's working out so far. That's awesome. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it must be like I mean you're able to do it uh, like part time, right? So yeah, I mean, totally. You're halfway there. Yeah, basically, man, and like. I get three days off every week, and so it's really nice because I usually come up here, and there's so much outdoor stuff to do in Nanaimo. Totally, you can go hiking. You know, you got waterfalls, you got Mount Benson, like mountains yeah. everywhere. Little Mountain, Sugarloaf Mountain, even though it's not really a mountain. It's, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> totally. Man. Yeah, I mean, there's just a ton to do up here, so it's it's one reason I actually keep coming back here every weekend. It's That's fair. A lot, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it's it's super fun, but. Um, yeah, those are pretty much like my main goals right now. And like overall, like what like I guess umbrellas like all of those goals is just like happiness. Definitely. You know, that's that's my end goal is like I just want to be happy at the end of the uh, end of the day. Um, I want to be happy with the choices I've made. I want to like live with like as minimum regrets as possible. Totally. And just like, you know, do things that I want to do and live on my own schedule because life doesn't last forever. And yeah. especially at this age, of course, you know, where we are now, we can do a lot more than we can when we're 50 or 60. Yep. So it's like, you got to take full advantage of that and then build something for yourself so that you can enjoy it a little more. Yeah. Later. I always see like this, this thing where it's like grinding your twenties, building your thirties, right. relaxing your forties. Right. Like, I mean, it's not like, don't get me wrong. If you if you what you're doing, you probably won't be relaxing in your forties. It definitely never ends. It definitely never ends. You know? But like, definitely, the it's better to be that we're starting now. Yeah. Instead of just like uh, thinking, oh, that would be a cool idea, and then like always talk about like always talking the talk, but never walking the walk. Exactly. Exactly. Taking action is like the biggest thing you can do. And mm -hmm. there's yeah, I mean, a lot of people want to do this kind of stuff, um, but they just don't pursue it for yeah. whatever reason, you know. And I I think the biggest thing is like people just. They want to do it, but they think they can't because they're, you know, they're blaming something else. They're like, oh, you know, like, I, I don't want to go out this weekend because, like, I just worked all week and I'm feeling tired or mm -hmm. I don't want to go to the gym. Like, you know, my legs are going to be sore tomorrow or, like, I don't want to eat healthy. It's so expensive. And it's like all of these things can change your life and make you, like, such a better person and put you in such a... Like a better spot. 100%. But, like, people just want to, you know, blame other things. That are making them unhappy. Yeah, so then the the they're just themselves. using them as, a, as scapegoats, and then yeah, they're, exactly. Then they're basically just trying to like, you know, do, uh, blame that they're you know not overly happy because of these reasons. Exactly. But it's like it's like they're they're easy to change. They're yeah. just not willing to actually do them. Yeah, exactly. And like for me personally, like you know maybe everyone has different situations, but at the end of the day, like my life is completely my responsibility. So if I'm ever unhappy, if something ever goes wrong, definitely, um, you know, anything like it's basically like it's my fault. Right? Yeah, my car breaks down. Oh well, I didn't take proper care of it. Or I didn't do yeah, exactly. I should have. Yeah, you know? or um, you know anything like I didn't get a client. Oh well, obviously my work's not good enough, so I need to keep improving. Exactly. It's not like oh, I didn't get that client because like oh, because they suck or you know yeah, random excuses. Nothing like bad. It's just like okay. Yeah. They didn't like what I'm doing. Yeah. So maybe it's just like. I need to improve. Like, what can yeah, I? Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, exactly. That's that's the best way you can take it. And it's like in, anytime you get criticism, or mm -hmm. you know, if like your YouTube channel isn't working out, it's like okay, it's probably not the, that my subscribers are bad. It's probably that I'm just not making good enough content that like makes them want to share it. So what can I do to make them want to share my exactly. stuff and make more people come and watch? Totally right. Right. And just like getting over those little obstacles is, I think it's huge. You know, once you put yourself in a mindset of like your glass is half full instead of half empty and that everything is on you. Changes completely. Everything. Yeah, yeah, totally. And then you can start pursuing things and you, I don't know, your world just gets a bit brighter because you start seeing the opportunities and not like the, the pitfalls. Definitely. Right. So, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, man. Uh, so Dion, this is the part of the show called the motivational moment. Okay. So how would you describe your passion in five words or less? In five words or less, um, I would say 
inspiring passion for the outdoors. For the okay, and yeah. so why did you choose that? I get, I get probably because like your great love for the outdoors. Totally. I mean, I love the outdoors. I love nature. Um, like our environment is super important, and definitely, it's something that every single human being on the planet relies on in every single way. Yeah, every way. Like everyone relies on it, and there's just a lot of people that don't understand that, and there's just a lot of there's a huge disconnect from people that you know specifically who like live in cities or whatever. They just don't understand that a lot of the choices they make are maybe harmfully affecting the environment right. or just, I don't know, there's just better things we can do for the planet to sustain like just a better life for, you know, the outdoors and for everyone. So basically what I want to do through my work is I want to inspire people to be like, whoa, that place looks cool. I want to go there. Okay, yeah. And then by them going there to like Ammonite Falls to this big, beautiful waterfall or something like that, they'll, you know, they'll get this appreciation for the nature of like, oh, wow, this is amazing. Like, definitely, you know, why would I litter here? Yeah. You know, small things like that even is like, why would I litter here? Or like, maybe I shouldn't like go off the trail and like destroy this tree or yeah. maybe I shouldn't carve my initials into the tree. Right. You know, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I just want to like help people like gain it an appreciation and gain passion for the outdoors and realize that there's so much more that it can offer them yeah. by going outdoors and hiking, having fun, kayaking, climbing mountains, whatever. There's so much that that can do for you um, on a mental and physical basis that like, totally, man. why doesn't everyone do it, you know? Oh, I agree. I 100% agree. I mean, I definitely think I'm definitely indoors more than I should be. Right. But I mean, it's getting to that point where the weather's going to be too nice. So I'm not yeah. going to have an excuse. Yeah. Right? Like, today, man, it was so, so nice. nice. I was swimming today. Oh, nice. I was like fully wet suited up and I was at this little creek just outside of Nanaimo. just like cliff jumping, hitting a rope swing. Nice. Super fun. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. It was like total throwback to summer. So I was like, all right. It's I'm starting. Warm. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm on. I'm, I'm on. So that's cool. Yeah, man. Yeah. So like, nature super important. I want to capture what it's like to be in nature, and like, I want to show people how fun it can be and totally. how amazing it can be. Okay. Right. And then I just want them to see, like, oh, you know, like maybe I should go outside more. Maybe I should go for a hike, or maybe I should go check out this waterfall that I've been hearing about right. so much. Right. Yeah. I think, and you'll definitely be able to do it, I think. Like, totally. And know. then they're going to get, like, some sort of, like, mental clarity from it, or they're going to get some exercise because they're walking or totally. hiking or yeah, like, anything. They might, like, on the walk, they might just have, like, the biggest, the greatest idea of their life and then Dude. just be like, this is what I need to do now. Yeah. Yeah. Totally, man. Like, I've had, like, some of my best, craziest ideas, like, were spent when we were outside. Like, before I went to Asia last year, I did a three-month... Uh, trip to Asia yep. uh, with my friend where we were working with brands like that came up by like going on a hike to Ammonite Falls Oh wow. we were just hiking there and we we're like oh man it'd be so cool to like travel to Asia and like work with brands and stuff and then we we're just like why don't we do that like how do, how do we do it? like all, totally. obviously these people do it like why can't we do that definitely so we started doing the research we started looking into it okay we're both pretty good photographers videographers like we have stuff to offer so we just approached like probably a hundred brands and I think like three of them said yes but I mean Hey, I mean, like that, that's something. that's three. That's, yeah. that's incredible. And, that's, and so we got to go to Southeast Asia for three months, and literally like one of the best trips of our lives, easily. I mean, yeah, like that, like that's, and that's also people that can be like, uh, give a reference to. Like they'll be like, oh yeah, they did great work for us. Yeah, exactly. And then yeah. then you'll get like bigger brands and all that, or like you'll just find bigger clients and like yeah. there's it gets the ball rolling. Right? Yeah, exactly. So um, yeah. That's cool. Uh, so, like, for the action shots, like, you like to do, like, with the sports and everything. Yep. How do you, how do you find doing that? How do you, like, because you, what, so which, which sports do you uh, shoot? Um, I've done a lot of different stuff. Um, pretty much, like, everything, like, outdoor based that's not, like, organized sports. Okay. Um, so, like, surfing. Yeah. Um, anything on a board, really, like, surfing, snowboarding, skiing. Yeah. Hiking, okay. um, like the rock climbing, the ice rock climbing. Rock climbing is big. Rock climbing is probably the biggest one. Okay. Um, trying to get more into like mountaineering, so like doing some like serious mountain climbs and stuff like that. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah, just like pretty much anything you can go out and do in the mountains and okay, you know, have fun with or like you know, snowshoeing even is super fun. Um, yeah, everything and anything. Okay, cool. Outside, yeah. So what's been like out of all the ones you've photographed yeah. or like video video which are your favorite sports like top three i guess because it's kind of hard to choose one. um yeah i know it is super hard i think right now for sure like climbing Con yeah um it's something i just really resonate with and it's one of those sports that's very it's very personal yeah it's all about mindset in my opinion um obviously there's a lot of physical aspects yeah to it, but for the most part it's just like being able to like 
the way I look at climbing is like you have a route and it's a puzzle. So you have okay, to figure yeah. out, okay, what movements are the best movements to like climb up this wall? Right, okay. Right? So it's a puzzle, it's a, it's a mental game. And then also like being able to push past some of your fears because there's times where you fall off the, the wall and like you have to be caught by a rope or, um, you know, like you're, like yesterday I was like probably 500 meters off the ground looking down like way above the trees. And I was like, man, if I like fell off this rock, I would die, yeah. right? So like getting over a lot of fears like that. Um, I think climbing is, is the biggest one for me. And then like snowboarding and skiing okay, is cool. probably second. And then I would say surfing is third Okay. because surfing is just, it's so much fun. I was in Bali for two months last year and almost all I did was surf. Okay, sweet. And it was the best experience of my life. Oh man. Yeah, if you ever get the chance to go to Bali, go to Bali. Go to Bali, okay. It's like, it's so nice. Like even if you don't surf, yep. it's super cheap. It's beaches for days and like, Everyone who goes there is like a traveler. So you meet people from like, like all over the world, England, yeah. Switzerland, Germany, a lot of German travelers, man. I swear every German is <laughs> a huge traveler. Like all of them are Germans. That's cool. Um, yeah, it, it, it was amazing. Um, funny story actually. Last weekend I went to Tofino with my girlfriend. Yep. And we were like chilling at one of the beaches. Like we're sitting in my van. I was like cooking some lunch, like making some burritos. And I put my surfboards on my roof and I hadn't had them tied down or anything. So they're on my roof. And like we we're cooking lunch, we ate it. And my buddy Curtis was like, hey man, um, I'm at this other beach if you want to come meet up. I was like, yeah, sure. Get in my van, we like drive over there. And I get out and I look at my roof and I'm like, oh, shit, my surfboards. Cause I didn't tie them down. Yeah. And I forgot that they're up there. And I was like, oh no. So we drove all the way back. It was maybe a 15 minute drive. It wasn't okay. that far. And we drove all the way back down. We were like looking in the ditches, like just making sure like we could find them. And they just never came up. We went back to the beach spot we were parked at. There was no wow. boards anywhere. Yeah, it was, it was weird. And so we went into Tofino and I stopped at like all the board shops. Um, I left my info, at like all the resorts and everything. I was like, hey, if you find these two boards, they're there. Um, I still haven't found them yet, but Dang. like the biggest bummer was that they were my surfboards from Bali. Oh yeah, they're my like first, first surfboards, and I bought them in Bali, and I brought them all the way back to Canada, which was like a huge story oh, on its own. Yeah, and yeah, I I didn't tie them down, and I lost them somewhere. They're not, they're out. I don't know what happened to them. I think someone may have like found them, and maybe just didn't know what to do with them or where to bring them. Like maybe a tourist or something found them. Right. And they're like, what do you what do you do with surfboards when you find them? So I'm hoping they turn up, but I mean, yeah, let's um, hope. Yeah, yeah, because they have like huge sentimental value. So that was that was a big bummer, but no whatever. doubt, it is what it is. Learn my lesson. <laughs> tie Always shit tie. Down. Yeah. 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 Uh, so then, what's been your favorite shoot? Like, Ooh. just like I guess, yeah. That, like, um, doesn't matter which sport or anything like that or anything or like which outdoor hike. Just like which, I guess, if it's too hard to pick your top one, you can do top three or something. Like that. Yeah, totally. Um, I would say like my favorite, my favorite ones were actually last summer. Okay. Uh, between like July and September. Yep. Um, that's when I, like I said, I was full-time photography. I had all this time in the day to just go and do basically whatever I wanted. Totally. So a lot of that time was spent like um, out hiking, out swimming. Um, I actually did a film. Uh, it's like a water project of mine. I've always wanted to do some sort of project based around okay. water. And so it was like all these amazing swim holes on Vancouver Island and just like, you know, diving and stuff like that. Um, I think all the shoots that I did in that summer. I've got a bunch of blog posts actually on my website right now. Oh, cool. Um, okay. Of most of those those trips that I did. Um, I think those, I think there's three in particular. Um, they were all like the best. Um, I climbed two mountains. Uh, I don't want to say the names of, because I don't like giving them away. And then I did a hike out to Cream Lake. Okay, um, Which is in cool. Strathcona Park. It's like this super high alpine lake. It's like eight hours one way just to get there. And oh, wow. Two friends and I hiked all the way in. We camped there. We brought our wetsuits all the way there. Smart. And we swam in this like alpine lake, which is like super cold. Okay. Yeah, it was unreal. And just like the photos I got, it just, I don't know, it just, it really reinforced and uh, put in my head like that's what I want to do for a living is like be in those places. Definitely. With awesome people, having fun and just like living our best lives basically. Okay. As cliche as that sounds. No, like, it makes sense life. though. I mean, it's so true. I mean, why would you want to be, why would you want to wake up, go to work, go home, eat dinner, and repeat? And yeah, like, just exactly. like, why would you want that just to be your every day except for like the two days you have off, which you spend one day doing errands and the other yeah. day you're just like, I'm so exhausted. Uh, from I have to go back to work tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And then you don't do anything. Like, yeah. why, why would you want to live that life when you can, yeah, yeah exactly. find these things? Exactly. And like, some people are comfortable with that and some people are happy doing that. Yeah. Right? And, and like, like, the people who are, that's great. Like, yeah, there's nothing don't wrong, wrong with that. It's just like, yeah, if, if people are feeling like, 
anxious or like they should be doing more, like they're wasting their life or anything like that. It's like, I don't know, I say just go and do anything. Because yeah. Because like at the end of the day, we can, we live in like one of the best countries in the world to do whatever Literally. we want. Like we have as much freedom as we need to literally create whatever life we want and, you know, go travel or whatever your thing is. Like Absolutely. It's possible. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm always trying to inspire people just to like do more and do better. Well, it's yeah, for me. definitely, right? Like there's nothing better than like having a conversation with someone and yeah. like going home, going like leaving and yeah. then realizing that you're super inspired. They're super inspired. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And I think that's a big thing with watching like, uh, oh, was that backwards? Yeah. Oh, it's okay. all good. Um, I hope my voice wasn't too quiet. <laughs> um, like Gary Vaynerchuk, like that's why I love his videos is because he just like, he inspires that in me at least. And like, it just like goes to show like, you know, life is really long and you can do so much in even just a couple of years. Totally. Like I've only been shooting photography for four years. Right? Yeah. So, I mean, there's so much you can do and I don't know, you just gotta go after it for sure. Definitely, man. Like it's, a, and like literally like it's limitless. Like yeah. you got four years of experience. That's a lot, right? Like that's yeah. gonna like, they'll be like, oh, like you, you're not just one of those Instagram photographers who's just like, I can do it. Like, yeah, totally. You're like totally. one who's, you're not just starting it, you're doing it, you're winning. Like you're totally. already yeah. out of the game. And like, honestly, like four years in, I'm still like an infant when it comes to like what I know and my skills and stuff. Like I still have so much further to go, but it is cool being able to look back on my past work and past projects and like see how much I have grown and like how much I have improved. Yeah. Um, I think that's a, that's a, that can be a big block for a lot of people is like, always feeling like uh like you're not enough or something i think it's something that a lot of creative people um are affected by and you know just being able to like have the appreciation for how far you have come is like something that i try to like remind myself of um, Definitely. frequently and you know it allows me to push myself further because like if things aren't working out if i didn't get this client or this project didn't go how i wanted it it's like okay this all sucks but i mean i'm still in a way better spot than i was like two years ago yeah and i'm just gonna keep growing so i just gotta keep at it cool right so that's sweet man yeah you just build that momentum and you just like you just gotta let it keep going you just yeah. gotta have a positive mindset definitely and you just gotta hope like you just gotta like believe that it's all gonna work out in the end because it will it will yeah it will work out if you're dedicated and you really want to do it and you know you're putting like everything into it like it will work out it'll definitely work and like you'll get there because you're passionate you're yeah it's like this is like your focus yeah and like you're not going to be swayed to not do it right totally so. totally and like you might not be a millionaire living on a yacht recording your podcast yeah but i mean but I, I bet mean, you'll be a lot happier than a lot of people who make millions of dollars every year working at like a shitty bank investment firm it, or something totally like right that, where they're know? stressing to the max losing hair like yeah like, close totally these deals where like yeah like if i was making like 30 40 grand doing this i'd be like so oh, yeah, stoked man. dude i'd yeah. be like every day i just get to like all right find people yeah who work. am i talking to today exactly. all right that's sweet yeah. <laughs> you know yeah totally and that's how i feel with like the outdoors like oh i get to go into the mountains this weekend all right this is awesome like, yeah i'm stoked so yeah i mean yeah chase your passions and just get after it get after it that's like that's like my motto right now my <laughs> buddy eddie like we're, that's what we always tell each other like oh let's get after it let's get it. i so like that we're, we're cool. always getting after it whether you're like working out or yeah. you're working or you know anything, anything. You're getting after it mm -hmm. right and totally i think that's like super important and i agree man like i definitely agree yeah uh dion i just wanted to thank you for coming on hey, the show. hey like, no worries man it's great to have you thanks for the invite um so where can the people find you what's your website what's your instagram um or, or, yeah so my instagram is just at dion told d-e-o-n-t-o-w-l-e i'm sure you'll yeah i'll have you be right below you um, and then my website is CAD Photo Services. That's where I keep a lot of my portfolio work. Um, I have a blog on there. And then I do have a YouTube channel, which is also just my name. Okay, um, That's where I put like some of my video projects and my vlogs. So I've got a few vlogs, I'm trying to do more. Nice. Um, I'm hoping by doing this podcast, it'll kind of hold me a little more accountable yeah. to actually get them done. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Instagram, YouTube, and my website perfect yeah the main ones just make sure you check him out like he does great work i like I, just by looking over his instagram page it's it's incredible Thank so you. like just the and like just being able to talk with you about your experiences it's just like a whole other thing like Sweet. it's like some it's like almost surreal like yeah i just want to like i wish i was there you know like, yeah totally man i mean you'll definitely get there like if i was like looking at my life now like even two years ago I would be like, damn, like this guy's like living, you know, like this is <laughs> totally, awesome. Yeah. I want to do it, you know. And um, I mean, 
it's just, it's a reality. Like, it's just, you got to set yourself up. You got to be long-term minded of like, okay, am the choices are the choices that I'm making now, like good for the long-term, Definitely, right you know? Right. And if you think they are, like, keep doing them and just, yeah, always have that in the back of your mind. Like, is this going to benefit me? You know, a totally. month down the road. Right, right. Road, Makes sense. The road, right. So that's cool. Yeah, man. I'm happy I could uh, offer some inspiration to you. Yeah. As well, you know, <laughs> I'm stoked. Like, and me too. I'm definitely feeling pretty have, inspired like, as well. I want to, I want to, I, I learned where that uh, frozen waterfall is. I want to definitely go. Yeah, that totally. Out. Totally. I can definitely connect you with it. Cool. And, uh, I'll, yeah, I'll give you locations. There's like so many oh, I rad places around here. It's unreal. I'm just like out of the loop, right? <laughs> yeah, totally, man. Yeah. And even within Nanaimo, like, there's a lot of places to, to cool. check out. So. Sweet. Uh, so don't forget, if you like, hit that subscribe button, check out the other videos. Uh, you can find me at every, like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, at Just Charisma. And don't forget to check out the vlogs and all that other stuff. So thanks, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace out.